Well, while it's downloading that, after a millennium, the Pharaoh awakens to the tomb. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. And his only goal is to leave his self cray His brains. Instructions. Left mouse to interact. Why left? Oh, I guess because it's a camera turning thing. Wasda to move. Credits. Art. Art. Programming. More programming. Got it. So 1.0 is the one. Excuse the delayed text stuff. You probably noticed, but we're on a delay when reading through these text messages. Um, these chat messages, not text messages. For the time being, I'm actually not going to full screen the games anymore because I want to be able to see the chat this time around and it's probably going to be smart to leave it that way. So let's give it a shot. Uh, let's try this new strategy, this new fangled don't open it in the full screen mode strategy a shot. Oh hey, today's wallpaper is brought to you by Valve. It's probably not made by Valve themselves. Um, I don't know what fan, what portal fan art I took from that. This is not up to date. More messages below. All right. <clears throat> well, Pharaoh, it was nice knowing you, but you're better off dead. <coughs> okay, we're gonna have this windowed. Uh, let's go with that resolution. Here we go. So yeah, this should make it a lot easier for me to actually see the chat while playing this. Reversal mirror. Oh, you have a really nice uh, comp company logo. Studio logo. Studio logo. Alright, how to play. Got it. Credits. Always important. Reversal mirror team. Just four people. Okay. Mouse got locked. That's good. That's always good. I'm a ghost. That's always good. What's that? Weird. Now I can't, I won't be able to sleep at night because this half a wing is gonna haunt me. Anyways. Oh. Oh, that's how you work. Okay. Alright. Can I interact with this? Nope, I can't. All right, the stick doesn't move with me. That's that's something, I guess. Can I burn the rocks? It would be nice if I knew what was interactable and what wasn't. As of right now, I'm oh. The sound effects are really nice here. Who did the audio design? It's really nice. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait. In what sort of angle has this like animation actually tried to accommodate to? Ah, oh, yes, 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 exactly. How about this? Whoa! Th this guy is a dangerous one. What happens if I just look up? Nothing. What if I just uh, kind of look down? Nothing. 
No, it just plays a normal animation. Okay, neat. All right. I got everything I out got out of that. This looks like a dead end if I ever see seen one. This looks like a switch to a dead end if I've ever seen one. Oh, neat. There's a lot of genuine effort pulled into this, which I really kind of appreciate. Um, though, in a way, it's a little sloppy. Um, okay. This looks like an invitation. Nothing happened. Good. Oh, neat. The flame actually shrunk as it gradually went over time. I, I like that detail. These flames takes forever to uh, light up, which is a little concerning, in my opinion. Okay. That did diddly squat because we came through here. So the only thing we need to do is figure out what to do with this. What is this? What is this? Um. Hmm. Oh, okay, I got it. I can't move while this is going on. Great. Oh. Right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Am I back at the beginning? Oh no. Apparently, oh no, it's a totally different room. Do 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 do. These dramatic animations are like really slow, which kind of makes it annoying for me. To be honest. Am I stuck for some reason? Oh. How did I know? This seems so weirdly out of the way for a puzzle design. Alright. Oh. Oh my goodness, what is this? What is this? Ah. Uh, fantastic. This is a dark room full of... The... I'll be completely honest, um, I don't feel like, I don't feel like my intellect is being challenged here, largely because I feel like this is about hitting switches, uh, just finding switches really, um, in this maze, and I don't know, but that to me just doesn't feel all that satisfying. I feel like I'm just going deeper. Gotta go fast. 
Gotta go deeper. Bong. Inspection. Inspection. Inception. Oh! By going further underground, we got to this location, which has a beautiful non lack of a ceiling, which is actually a nice change of pace for once, honestly. I appreciate that. This moved. And that moved because... Interesting. Okay, I think I get it. So where's the end goal here? That was an eyeball symbol. Yeah, before I go through this blindly, what am I trying to open? Maybe it doesn't reveal itself until I have the light. Uh, that imprint is pretty close, but no cigar. This place looks promising right here. Yep, this is the wall. Okay, so I just need to get all the way to here. Um, so generally speaking, try to get it towards this direction. Got it. Ah, my light eyes. no other spires, so... Okay, this is at least interesting. Um, I personally like it because it's about like kind of learning the landscape and piecing together what you're supposed to do. I just kind of wish the animation wasn't so slow, honestly. Oh, I can't move. We must go deeper. All right, we can ignore that. So what's the point of the flames then? there. Derp. Okay. 
Can I run? I can't run. Holding shift does nothing. It looks like I went in circles. No, I did not. My sense of direction is as impeccable as ever. Alright, I sure came to a maze. I kind of wish this computer screen of mine didn't have glare. I can actually see my t-shirt right now. It's annoying. Aha! I keep getting stuck on something, I don't understand. I feel like if I'm like touching a wall like that, then I should be able to walk past it. Oh, it's the columns that are giving me the troubles. They have like the maximum friction possible and I feel like I can keep getting stuck on them. Plus, give, taking into account that your collider box is really large, that's really annoying. Not much story, so, or not much story, I mean, not much uh, going so far. Well, I, is this puzzle really... So, I'm going to be completely honest to the developers. This is feeling less like a puzzle to me and more like a I Spy game. You know, I Spy with my little eyes. The switch that is hidden somewhere here in the maze. I'm like, I, I don't know, but I kind of get tired of that. That's just me, though. There are people that like I Spies games. <laughs> Excuse me. And, you know, more power to them. get back. Alright, that is a wall. The fact that also your walking speed is particularly slow in this case doesn't help either. I'm more annoyed if anything. Um, I feel like these details that I feel like um, when it comes to like the walking speed or like what I'm doing here or the fact that every animation feels very slow and dramatic for in my opinion needless reasons like to me I guess um, these are small annoyances that I feel like kind of adds up to a rather sour experience in my opinion because like I know Earlier you had the light puzzle, which was actually interesting. Um, Alright, well. Let's see what button I'm missing. Because it's somewhere here, right? Nope, I guess I just have to hit another button. Like this one. Will this be direct, or will I have to go through the maze? I have to go through the maze. And like I don't I don't find this part fun. I, like I found the light puzzle fun because it was a, a lot of it for me was about observation and trying to piece together how to get there. 
this to me feels nothing of that sort. I, this again feels to me like an I Spy game, and I don't find that fun in the slightest. Um, I find these sort of like button pushing uh, puzzles a lot more interesting. If, the, if I had to piece together the sequence in which the puzzles has to be pressed. But notice how I said sequence, like it would be more interesting if I was able to see all the buttons at once such that um, my trouble with the game then becomes not about where I, whether I can find a puzzle, uh, where I can find a switch or not, but more like uh, how, which switch do I press and what sequence and as to what order. Like, I find that to be more fun than um, me just going through a maze and f searching for something. I can't say I'm the greatest puzzle designer either. Puzzle making puzzles are hard. I'm the first to tell you that. Um, so, with I, I mean, I respect the amount of effort in here. Okay, so some positive stuff. Uh, the part, the use of particle effects, and like the consistent use of it is something I really like. I really like this laser actually. It's it's not exactly the most realistic, but it is convincing. Um, I do like a lot of the textures. I mean, they're pretty simple, but I do like them. Um, this whole darkness thing really sells that you're stuck inside a dark, you know, pyramid and stuff. So that's cool. I. No. So one other thing I haven't said earlier about switches is that generally speaking, you want to be able to, you want to be able to show that the switch has actually done something. That's why, for example, in RPGs, if you hit a switch and it says like, "Oh, a door opened from somewhere," like that might help you sound really annoying. But the reason why they do that there is precisely because if you just see a switch. And especially if you don't have an audio on in this game's case, like if there's no other feedback, people are going to be confused as to what that switch actually did. And generally speaking, you want to make sure that you you're able to show um, you're able to show the con the consequences of your action as directly as possible. So like my favorite method of anything switch related is to have it such that um, did I go in circles? I did. See, I'm not good at talking and playing at the same time, as I'm clearly demonstrating here. Anyways, so I feel like whenever you're showing the switches um, being pulled down and everything, you should try to make sure that whatever door it's opening is as close to that switch as possible. If not, take like a portal method where provide a trail to the door and to the switch to make it obvious that that switch is activating that door and vice versa. So at least now they're not doing a hide and seek, I spy game that I'm doing right now, but rather at that point the player is now just looking for clues around the room to figure out, okay, how do I traverse this? Where do I find the proper switch that I'm looking for that will open this mysterious door? Um, so that becomes less a question and becomes more of a process. For the player to understand and learn the game. I think we already went through here, but let's try it again one more time. Oh.
this is uh, really inviting right here. Yep, yep, you can actually fall off. I can already see it. Yep, that happened. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Shrink that really fast to see if I can make if I can make my character run any faster as a consequence. Maybe it's a frame rate issue. I'm sort of reminded of um, the Stanley Parable in a way, because I feel like I'm just pushing buttons. And now I keep getting stuck in corners. to be able to adjust the mouse sensitivity in a way. Hmm. Maybe I don't remember this puzzle so well. Yeah, I would make the wall frictions a lot like ice-ish, a lot more slippery so that I'm not getting stuck on them. Because I do find that annoying. Your character in particular has like a really large collider capsule. I feel like.
nope. It's just me, but aesthetically speaking, I do like the fact that there's no ceiling in this room, despite the fact that, you know, I'm pretty darn sure that was intentional. This mouse is not very sensitive. Why do I feel that way? What is this curve for? It does Is it just to add more space here? chugging along. Getting stuck on corners. Friction is not having its way with me. Was there nothing here? I keep forgetting. No, this place is just dark all the time. I was not expecting. Alright, let's think this over. Alright. Let's try this corridor. I think I already tried that one. Did. This curve does not make sense to me. Why is this S curve the way it is? So, we've already gone through the last court, uh, this corridor too, right? Let's double check. Pretty darn sure we did the first time. I 
and this was just a forever dark room. Forever alone. Uh, okay. Pretty darn sure before he went through that corridor. That corridor just ends right there. That corridor also just ends right there. Let's go through this one. This one also just ends. Alright, so we already went left. This is the only one I don't think we've went to. And never mind. It is a little strange that, you know, my mouse or the stick does not move with the camera. I personally find that a little strange. Oh. There we go. Well, I guess a torch helped there. Now let's go through this S curve again. Why is there this S curve? I'm guess I'm gonna keep saying it because I don't get it. The only thing it adds is it makes me more forgetful. And that's not a fun mechanic. Why am I stuck? What am I stuck on? Alright. So there's this. I didn't expect much. And I was rewarded in return. I feel like I went in circles here. There's nothing here, nothing but a dead end. All right, back to that S curve. First walk into a dead end, because that's always what you do. That is not an S-curve. This is an S-curve right here. At least, like, this part makes it a nice landscape, but I, I still don't understand this. A whole lot of this feels like padding to me.
By the way, were there any switches? No. No levers or levers to be found. The only thing is just me, you, me, and sweet Georgia Brown. Twitch, I don't know if I made you proud. I haven't seen any comments so far. Is that just me? Let me actually uh, play around and see if that's just me. not locking the mouse properly. That's not fun. Uh, what was I doing? Darn it. Okay, I just got out of the S-curve. This is a dead end. This too is a dead end. I've already went the. Oh no, wait, I did not. Oh, that's already pulled down. Is there an easy way to actually see that? Yeah. Answered my own question. That looks like there was a switch there. My eyes lie to me. Seymour Clam says, this game looks pretty well put together. I, um, I don't know if you're just joining in, but I had a lot of criticisms for this game so far. The fact that the mouse is not locking is not part of it. I think that's genuinely the Unity's fault. through. I'm pretty sure I've already went through here, but still. Yep, I have not. Good. Note to self, don't fall off. Oh my goodness. Today's wallpaper brought to you by Party of Sin. I think that's from uh, Clockworks. Oh, whoops. That was not intentional. Keep going.
getting stuck on corners. It makes me so sad. So sad. Really? Really? That's what that light puzzle was for. Oh. Oh, it's over. Um. My goodness, the switches are padding to the worst degree. Uh. I'm gonna close this for now. No, the exit doesn't work either. Well, I think I said everything that I said. Um, but uh, the graphics are nice. You have sound effects. Some of I I do feel like a lot of the particle effects were clever, even though like they were using whatever was already pre-installed in Unity, and so they kind of look not so great, but. I definitely sensed a, um, a form of honesty in the way of the way it presented. And, and when I say that, I mean like uh, there was a clear goal in mind and there was obviously a clear atmosphere in mind that you guys were aiming for. And I have a lot of respect for that. Um, my issue obviously is that the puzzle design and is not at all to my favor. I felt like it was very easy for me to find out very quickly that most Switch puzzles was literally a zigzag from uh, one point to another where that zigzag keeps getting longer and longer and longer as you're bouncing from one point, to, uh, as you're po going from one corner to another. And like, you know, I compl the reason why I complain about the S formation uh, in the last level is because it felt like filler like that was there literally just to make the path from one uh, flicking one switch to another like incredibly long and like the core ex from playing this the core experience that I was able to that I took out of it was there were light puzzles there were hunting for switches and understanding which door they opened and then there was maze and at the very least with the switch and the maze part that is a horrible 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 combination um the light puzzles in general the laser puzzles in general i found to be more interesting because it required me to at least understand what the environment was was there was a lot of pushing involved but it didn't feel too bad for it and for the most part, I kind of like that. Uh, I kind of like that. Um, it asked me to be observant. It asked me to understand what was going on, and uh, I felt better out of it. Uh, lever puzzles, on the other hand, did not make me feel that way. Uh, lever puzzles made me feel like, okay, now you have to be able to read a read the game designer's mind and figure out what door it opened because there's no uh, signal or no trail or anything to let me know which door the lever opened and like if and there was just a lot of them there was a lot of them and i really really felt like i was just playing hide and seek rather than or even just a maze game rather than an actual um if i knew the sequence of how to hit the buttons or like if i if I knew where all the locations of the levers will, are, I knew I could be able to sit, solve this puzzle or something like that. That is a, at least a kind of puzzle I would be seeking for, but this didn't really give me any of those. So yeah, um, needless to say, I am not very happy with this game. Um, When I say, like, not very happy, um, you know, um, I feel like there was, there was a lot of talent behind this team, 
and it felt very bogged down by what what I think is poor game design. Um, I don't know. That's those are obviously all just my opinions, and I'm I'm not saying that those are all objective or any way, but I do hope that um, at least one of the developers watching this kind of have a takeaway from it, saying like you know all the graphic, uh, all the beautiful graphics cannot save what I think anyways is not I feel like a little amateurish level design but that's just me The graphics are pretty good, but I thought the I thought the puzzle designs were really poor. Um, a lot of the uh, sw switch door levels felt like uh, I spy game. About searching. About finding where the switch is in the maze. The fact that their placement pattern being a zigzag didn't help. I found the laser puzzles to be more interesting. Especially in its way to provide you hint readily on how to solve it. Just a matter of figuring out the order. Figuring out the angle of uh, redirection. Um, Honestly, the game felt a lot like uh, maze game pretending to be a puzzle. can't go back though it's already on twitch um making the walls not have friction would have been nice i felt like i kept getting stuck there was at least one wall not filled in, making it possible to fall through the world. Oh wait, this isn't version one, isn't it? So that was probably fixed in, ver uh, in the post build. Okay, fair enough. Uh, 
movement felt slow. While playing version 1.0, I fell through the world due to an untiled um, wall. There was a level where the ceiling wasn't tiled. But honestly, I like that better. <laughs> 